I'm Alan Kenny, managing editor of REIT.com and we're at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City for REIT Week 2011, NARIT's Investor Forum. Joining me is Dennis Gershenson, President and CEO of Ramco Gershenson Property Trust. Dennis, your company's made uh, some acquisitions recently. How are you finding the deal-making environment? Well, um, we, we have had a very good run with a number of acquisitions that we've made uh, over the last six months. Uh, however, we're finding now that uh, all of those people who were very focused on the coasts are now looking for somewhat better yields and they've turned their eye uh, toward the middle of the country, which now is making it much more competitive uh, to buy uh, shopping centers in the Midwest. And I think we've probably seen a change of anywhere from 30 to 50 basis points um, as far as cap rates are concerned uh, from where we were as late as the, uh, the first of the year till now. And tell me, when you're scouting out sites for these deals, what do you think is the most important factor in determining whether or not a shopping center will be successful? Uh, ultimately, I think the most uh, critical element in the success of a shopping center is uh, whether or not the mix of your tenants is really responsive to the demographics. Uh, everybody talks location, 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 but we'll start with the fact that we wouldn't look at an asset unless it had a good location. Uh, but ultimately, once you find a good location, if the lineup of retailers is not responsive to either the income levels or the type of customer that lives in the area, um, then ultimately it will not be successful. Among your different types of properties, are you finding uh, large differences in tenants? Primarily, we are either supermarket anchored strips or we're power centers. Um, and, you know, I, I, there's obviously differences between the malls and uh, the strip centers, but I would point out one very important factor, which is the difference between a supermarket anchored strip with only a supermarket and a multi anchored uh, shopping center. And that is that if you have multiple anchors, even if it includes a supermarket, you will find your lineup includes many more national tenants than it will if you just are supermarket anchored because more often than not the local retailer are the ro local retailers are the ones who populate uh, the supermarket anchored strips where you get much more interest from the multi anchored centers uh, by the nationals because more often than not the multi anchored centers are in the hub of the retail and Dennis, closing up, I'm going to ask you to look ahead to 2012. Where do you see your company really focusing its energy and capital? Well, there's no question that we continue to be in the acquisition business, but as I've said, um, you have to be a lot more selective as far as that's concerned. There isn't any question that the highest return on our capital allocation would be leasing up our existing vacancies. So I would say the vast majority of our energies uh, for the latter half of 2011 and 2012 uh, will be in taking advantage of the retailer's enthusiasm for uh, leasing space, especially the national retailers uh, who are open to buy and uh, we believe we have the right centers in the right locations and so uh, that's where we'll be directed. Thank you very much, Dennis. For more from REIT Week 2011, check out REIT.com.